Ever since I went and bought this Blue Eddy AC70, I've wanted to get a solar panel to charge it, especially when it's like super nice out, super sunny. To me, it defeats the purpose of plugging this into the wall, taking the power from the house that I gotta pay for to charge it, to use it in the garage or if I go anywhere. I can plug it into the cigarette lighter on my car. Blue Eddy does have a charger one i think it's called where they just released it where if you plug it into your cigarette lighter it'll like turbocharge it problem with that is i'm cheap and i don't want to spend like 300 dollars canadian to buy one of those to plug it into my car to have to drive my car around to charge this hopefully that makes sense that was a lot i have ran the generator to charge this but again i've got to buy the fuel power the generator to charge this. I was scrolling on Amazon just to see what deals I could find. I didn't want to go too crazy on the price for a solar panel. The one that I purchased is a 200 watt, or at least it's supposed to be. According to some of the reviews, it says that it doesn't pull the full 200 watts. I'll throw up a quick screenshot of the one that I bought right now. It's a Wurchte. I think I'm saying that right. It's designed to go on the rooftop. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna build like a frame to put around it. Buying this, it's pretty much just plug and play into this. There's no control module or anything required for it. Let me show you what it looks like. So here it is. It's nothing super fancy. On the back side, it's just pretty much the two wires. I don't know too much about these. I know that it does work. I've had it outside and I've been charging Blue Eddy with it. Hopefully you guys can see this, but here's the two wires. One downfall is the actual cords from the panels are kind of short. They're maybe eight inches. They do work with the cable that comes with the Blue Eddy. This is the cable that comes with your Blue Eddy. It's got your male and female connectors there and the one that plugs right into your power station. You gotta pop the cables out of the holders to plug in just because they are short. Once it's plugged in there, let's take, plug it into your Blue Eddy. And if it's outside and it's bright enough, it'll be charging it up. It'll automatically turn it on. It'll start charging. Here's the spec sheet. If you're interested. Build quality, I think pretty damn good. Seems pretty solid. The game plan is with this to build a frame that I can kick out. I've got an idea in my head as to how I'm gonna do that. When I go to do that, I'll post a video of it. When it comes in, it's got foam all around it. It comes in a box. This packaged in like that. It also does have a big piece that is on the front of it. Seeing as it's winter outside and it's cold, when I first got it in and I had to get a charge into the Blue Eddy, I used this and I'll show you kind of how I had it set up. So I've got a sliding patio door here. This stuff fits in the track here. And then what I did was Took another piece and I just shaved the one edge off, shoved it in like that. So utilizing the styrofoam from the box, I've managed to get a little bit of a charge on the Blue Eddy. Obviously today I can't do it because it's cloudy. I'll set it up and I'll see if I can get anything. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that. It's only pulling in about 11, 10 or 11 watts. That's how I have it set up. The angle in it, I'm getting 12 watts. That might not be enough to really get anything out of it. Whether or not it's good for them to charge out that wattage, I don't know. The size of it, it is portable enough that I can like maneuver it. I can bring it in and out. It's a good budget one from what I've seen so far. If you're just starting out and you have a Blue Eddy, I'd recommend this one. If you have any questions, throw them in the comments below. I'll try my best to answer them. Like, subscribe if you don't mind. I'll see you in the next one.